Hey girl, hey girl, oh oh. Why this make you feel like though? Why this make you feel like though? Why this make you feel like? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Real K TV. So before we get into this video, if you are new here, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright, so before we get into the video, don't forget to give this video a big giant thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Alright, so today we are going to be making some Jamaican French fry chicken. Yes, guys, French fry chicken, aka fried chicken. But, you know, since the French taught us how to bread and batter things, this is why we call it French fry chicken. Alright, so. We're gonna be doing a little bit of semi-outdoor, indoors cooking. Um, you'll see why in a second, but it's an outdoor kitchen. Pretty basic, pretty cool. So you're gonna get the whole vibe. Um, we are here at Catawood Village in Portland, and we're gonna show you around a few things here. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into it, all right? So again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned. Guys, so just get up in the morning. This is the camping tent. Yeah, yeah. Have a look at makeshift light. We'll use in the night. Yep, that's it. That's it. Look a card for charge our phones. Extension right here. Light is actually pretty cool. Cause it have a look at charging. Something. Turn it on. Uh, look a rug. Float is. Which we are about to bring in the river right now. And we are about to be here. We are about to go take a swim. In the early morning. But this okay, makes so up there. Right here. There's a cow horn that the maroons used to use. As kind of a, at least, um, kind of like a, an alarm, I guess, <laughs> or just to communicate, especially if there's danger, just to alert the rest of the maroons. So that was like, I guess, the old time whistle, <laughs> the little cow horn. And these are some woven baskets by the maroons. Really beautiful baskets. I'm gonna show you over to the wall, and then I'm gonna show you. The drums closer in a second. This is the abeng. It's called the abeng. Um, I use same like how you do the record. Uh, you know you have to put your hand, your finger over this to blow it. And then you usually use the key and you have an alarm. And so it's literally a cohort that they, you know, look inside. Mm -hmm. That's a closer look. Alright guys, so on the wall here we have a few maroon people. This is just a wall. The wall of fame. The few maroon people, modern maroons, maroons from the past, etc etc. I wanna show you the star of the show here, the great nanny, nanny of the maroons. So if you know your history, you know that nanny was Ashanti very, queen. yeah, she's a, a what? Ashanti queen. Yeah, she's an Ashanti queen. She come from Ashanti. The yes. Ashanti people. Yes. And that is an Ashanti king above. He's supposed to come from Africa, I think. Yeah. Nanny is from the Ashanti people. Here's the king and here's nanny. Oh yeah, and that's someone doing the abeng right here. And this is someone blowing the abeng that we just showed you. But basically Nanny was basically a spiritual military leader, okay? Um, <laughs> she had a lot of spiritual ties. Um, she learned most of the things that she learned from the Taino people of Jamaica. That's Ro in the back, trying to blow the abeng. But she learned most of her strategies and stuff from the Taino people of Jamaica. So basically she used a lot of 
don't know, I guess you can call it magic. <laughs> magic yeah, and yeah, witchcraft. witchcraft to basically defeat the military people that were enslaving the people of Jamaica and also enslaving the Africans that they brought over here. So she was kicking butt, okay, big time. And <laughs> this, she is the reason why they had to sign a treaty because she was too much for them, okay. Very terrible Yeah, she strategized everything and took out a lot of people. So it's a great name. So here we have a spear. It's like an olden maroon spear definitely can be used for a lot of things i think this is definitely obviously used for, as weapons but i feel like it could be used for fishing too yeah, spear fishing. Yeah. for spear fishing and also to hunt animals on land so yeah pretty cool, pretty cool guys all right so at Catawood, this is their little bar setup okay we're inside like a hut I'll show you guys the outside in a second, but we're inside a little hut, as you can tell. Really nice setup. Give you guys like a little panoramic view. From inside the bar, you can see the river. Also have some swings on the property. So there's two swings over there. So this is the outside view. This is what you see from the outside. It's a really cute, it's a really nice setup. It's modern, but at the same time it pays tribute to our ancestors based on how it's built out of bamboo the little dry banana leaves hanging etc etc but this is the sign that kind of welcomes you before you go down the steps to the actual river itself so on the top of the steps here you can see the river or at least part of it beautiful has a nice blue green tint Alright guys, so these are the drums. I literally goat skin, I think they're on the top of it. Each one of them get a different sound frequency. People used to have technology. This is a type of technology, you know, and them specific to the frequency of the drums and certain things and based on certain rituals or ceremonies, they use different sizes and frequencies of the drums. These are the drums. Alright guys, so this is also a music instrument. A little shaker. <laughs> it looks like it's made out of coconut. Oh, it's a packy. It's a calabash, sorry, and a wooden stick. You also can eat out of these too as well. You always see us eat out, eating out of them. They come in all different shapes and sizes.
Alright guys, so we have the wood lined up here. We actually put them under some shelter. So they're just resting on the bamboo bench. So I'm going to do some wood fire cooking, wood fire and coal fire cooking. If you already know, you already know. If you know, you know. If you don't, I'm sad for you because it does make a big difference in the food taste. Alright, so we're going to be heading over to the kitchen now. Got our tent set up. So, hey Ro. Hello. Uh, hello, some breakfast. Yeah, we're just reheating our cornmeal and oats porridge on the big coal stove here. So, yeah. Yeah, oh, and the tea is pre-soaked from last night. Yeah, so over here we have some peas that are pre-soaked like Ro said. So, the, the time at the boiling, we are easier and we are quicker for it. Yeah, so. We don't have a pressure cooker here, so if you guys are like us and you don't have a pressure cooker and you want to make some nice rice and peas, you can still do it, you just would have to do, make sure you soak your peas like from overnight in some garlic to get it nice and tenderized. Alright? I'm going to use this now guys, we beat up them here, mm -hmm. so that when, so we can fry them in the um, oil, so we can fry them in the chicken oil. Yes. The flavor of the oil. Mm-hmm. What the? Look like garlic. Uh, when I, when I cut this. Alright. Yeah, I just put it in this. Alright. I'm going to add it too spicy. Mm hmm. So that's that. Alright, so the ingredients then here. We got egg. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to cut the egg and put it in this. Put it to the egg. I put a little water in the egg too, a little thick. Right, that's it. Let's go get a wood fire. Mm -hmm. the fear and the mosquito, the no man, I get one destroyer. <laughs> we talking about the mosquitoes, guys. Alright guys, we're in business now. Lighting the Protox. So this flower is actually, yeah, so this flower is actually self-rising flower, guys. Egg batter. We're going to throw a little cornmeal in there, too. Hmm. Well, that amount can never put too much. Alright, so next, we we'll add in powder. some bacon powder. Mm -hmm. Alright, and let's put in like a chicken seasoning now. Alright, so we're gonna put in some chicken seasoning. I'm going to make a pig this way now, I can't. I'm not going to let that go. So that's the amount. So here we have the chicken pre-seasoned guys. Mm. So we can tell them what we pre-season it with. So we have skillion, pepper, yeah, mm -hmm. onion, garlic of course, thyme. What else is in there? Yeah, some bird pepper. Yeah. Regular pepper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. And, um, oh, I'll yeah. rub it with a little curry powder. A little yeah, tiny bit, just for flavor. Just for flavor. 
Yeah. I'll put like a curry powder in there. Yeah, and we also put curry powder in the butter that we're gonna fry it in too. Guys, don't forget to put your onion in there. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to put your onion in the seasoning. Mm-hmm. Amen. Hey, guys, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to touch up your food. Like Ro said, we're kind of talking kind of low because we're just recovering from being under the flu. So he's kind of like semi-mumbling right now, but... <laughs> He's basically saying you don't be afraid to put your hands in the food because it's your energy. So hopefully you're on a good vibe when you're trying to make some food. Too. Yes, always. Yeah, make sure, guys. Make sure that before you cook anything, before you do anything at all in life, make sure you're in a good mood. Your vibration, your mood affects the turnout. It, it affects the, the end outcome of every situation, your mm -hmm. mood. So whatever vibes you attack a situation with will determine the outcome. You know, yes. Your mood matter. Exactly. Yes. Well, let's dip in a little it's salt. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Do a three four. Alright, in goes the black pepper. for now until we move on to the next steps all right guys we're about to move it outside like i said it's a semi indoor outdoor we just need to get the stuff prepared in here with the counter space and stuff so now we're about to go outside and um set up the wood fire so come on guys I don't know if you can um hear the river but we're like we're right behind the river or yeah right behind the river so I'm gonna show you guys where we're standing I'm gonna show you the river so here's some of the river literally probably like 10 feet in front of us so yeah Get to hear the nice therapeutic sound as we are cooking in the heart of nature. So yeah. So yeah, the river right there. And then of the wood fire catching up over here. Alright, so rolls back with the good stuff. This helps light the wood fire significantly fast. If you don't have cursing oil, just get the job yeah. done too. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have cursing oil or just any type of gas oil. Yeah, cursing oil or gas oil. Like we're just saying. People don't use mixed gas to come out of like the vehicle or the chains or yeah. Mix our shit, yeah, no matter. Alright, 
All right, guys. So I guess back to the indoor, outdoor kitchen. It is. It is raining. Just as we got the fire set up, so in here it is. Alright, so excuse the lighting, we don't have the best lighting in here, so like I said, it's like an outdoor kitchen. But uh, rows behind me setting up. Um, there's a pretty cool like little jerk station here that we're just gonna use and we're gonna make the chicken here so we took off the top grill. I'm just gonna load up the poles on the wood fire and then get started on the chicken. So let's see what's going on over here. Alright guys, so fire set up and the pot is on. Let's start throwing the aisle right now. Just make sure you have a lot of aisle when you're frying chicken for sure. Alright guys, so we're about to get the fun part started. So we're gonna dip, wash the chicken in the egg batter and then dip in the flour. Mm -hmm. Guys, it smells so good. No lie, no lie, no joke about it. <laughs> if you were here, I would give y'all a piece. But you know, as I said, 2023, definitely trying to plan some excursion with you guys take you guys to the rivers with us and stuff so if you want to link up yeah, okay. let us know so you can enjoy some riverside and cooking vibes with Ro and K. <laughs> oh no yeah so now we're coating the chicken Ooh, guys the oil is heating up I get it nice and hot before you throw in the chicken make sure your oil is super duper duper hot before you start frying them or else you're gonna end up with a catastrophe alright guys so we're gonna season the oil a little some garlic and pepper So in goes the chicken. First piece in. Okay. All right, chicken. I know you guys love our outdoor, outdoor videos, but you know, you can't predict the weather, unfortunately. You can have a work with way of, so, you know, we're still giving you the same good energy, same good vibes, and like I said, as, as you can see, we're basically outside, we just have a little covering, but this is an outdoor kitchen for the most part, so, I hope you guys enjoy the new, you know, the new setup, the temporary setup, you know, every day, every time, every episode of Roke, okay, you yeah, yeah, get a little bit of something different, so, yeah, I just enjoy the fried chicken, mm -hmm. smelling good already, no lie, no lie, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so in the meantime, while the food is being prepared, we're gonna go ahead and mix up some good old 
Tang, orange Tang. I've never had this flavor before, but anyways, this is a, like a very popular thing in Jamaica. You either mix some Kool Aid or you, you know, you mix some Tang, or if you have some fruit, you blend up some fruit juice. Um, that's usually my first option, but we don't have that right now, so I have to work way out. So <laughs> we're gonna make some tang. So yeah. So one of the cool things about this place is all the water systems is basically um, connected to the river. So even though you see me using it from the pipe, it's actually the river water that I'm about to get. It has its pros and its cons because sometimes if it rains too hard the water gets dirty and you have to wait for it to clear but it's actually still good right now which is good news. actually gonna set this aside for a second. I have to wash a spoon. Oh, oh, oh. Ro actually prepared this one already for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I can kind of get a whiff of the egg. Yeah, much better. Alright guys, so we got our spoon. The good thing about this too, um, you don't have to add sugar or anything. It, it's literally just pour and mix. So, yeah. But, you can't add whatever else you want to it. Like, Lime or whatever else. Lime syrup, whatever. Mm, it's a little sweet. It can need a little bit more water. Good all right guys so this is what the chicken is looking like so far if you ask me because it comes straight out of KFC chicken <laughs> this is like the um what is that the hot and spicy uh, what the plain one call again original. oh the original yeah, this is like KFC original all right guys so yeah, Just turn a few mm -hmm. pieces, a couple pieces, a few pieces, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see, can kind of golden brown, which is what we want. Yeah. Alright, we just pushed over the chicken so we can create space for the new chicken that we're coming. Can I kick off my nose? And we can't even smell good, guys. <laughs> Yeah, we just like get back where it's in such smell from the floor. Yeah. Yeah, may I draw up a little bit? Yeah, but if I look at the floor, just, just, just. Yeah, guys. Okay, I'm not excused. We can't get the days off because I really, really, really. Yeah. Really we gotta keep making videos for you guys. And guys. Yeah, mm hmm. And guys, don't forget if you want to donate to the channel, check out our PayPal. Any amount is accepted and welcomed. Alright. Just turn over whatever you can guys help with, you know, the cooking, the traveling, all of that stuff. So we can create bomb ass content for you guys. And we're actually looking for some equipment too, like a drone, GoPro. So all of those donations can help out with that as well. Yeah, and if you want to ship them, just if you want to just get the, the stuff and just ship it like a drone or whatever. Yeah, if you want to buy it yourself, free. just um, DM us. Um, follow us on Instagram and send us a DM if you're interested in doing any of that. Um, I'm actually gonna create an Amazon wish list too, so look out for that. But in the meantime, follow us on Instagram. 
it's in the description box Alright guys, so we're about to start chopping up some vegetables. You can see the fire in the back going, rose in the back. There's ashes flying everywhere. So if you see something white in my head, that's what it is. <laughs> so we're about to see we cut up some vegetables for the gravy right now. Alright guys, so we're about to mix the tomato and the onion with the seasonings that you saw earlier on the chicken. This is for the gravy, sauce, whatever you want to call it. Alright guys, so now we're about to put on the peas. Just fixing up the pot so it don't tilt over. Alright guys, so this is what the peas is looking like so far. In the pot we have some garlic and scallion and the peas. We're gonna make the peas boil a little more before we add the rice. Okay, so we're about to mix the coconut powder. Alright guys, in goes the rice. Alright guys. Here's what the rice is looking like so far. Alright guys, so the rice is actually cooked to perfection. And ready to be taken off the fire. Alright guys, adding in the oil. Some of the oil that we fried the chicken in, just for flavor purposes. So, that's why you see little specks of seasoning in there. So, in goes the butter. This is for the gravy now. The sauce. <laughs> the sauce. Yes. Alright guys, so this is what the gravy, aka the sauce, is looking like. So this is going to go over the chicken and the rice. Alright guys, here is the finished product, french fried chicken with rice and peas, it looks amazing, smells and tastes even more amazing, don't think I wasn't over here taking some sneak bites, so it's so delicious, the picture and the videos are doing it no justice, I'm telling you the truth. Alright guys, so I'm just waiting on the roll. I want to go grab his food. Here to share that mine. You know, ladies first. <laughs> trying to catch the sunlight, honestly. The sun is going down. Wood fire takes a while, FYI. It's really good, but it takes a while, so that's why the sun is kind of going down on us and for the fact that it was pretty much raining the whole day so yeah that will do it but i'm about to have some bites real quick because i'm not gonna make the outro too long because there's mosquitoes out here i'm i'm just ready to go back into the tent and relax i'll go watch some walking dead or something yeah. play some uno or something Sorry for my delayed response, I'm kind of high. Kind of sorta. <laughs> As I told you before, the, the, the food's amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Hello. Restaurant quality by far. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Yeah, yeah you know, the food is nice and it's like a, you know, butter, bop. <laughs> Try something in the name of good food. No life. No life, I. The sauce. The sauce is still amazing. It shows you what to use. So use that. And if you have all the extra other things, even better. But even if you don't, like us, it's still just as good. That's just him. When he's eating, it's just a no-nonsense type of guy. Yeah. Because, you know, it takes a lot of energy to cook. So I'm finish eat more. I'm finish cook more, I eat instant. Yes. <laughs> instant! Instant. <laughs> so, alright guys. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe share like and leave a comment and let us know what you think all right and don't forget to follow us on instagram as well all right guys peace out see you in the next one